we never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. And fought as we had for generations. We stand now upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last. The sands of time have run out, son of Duratan. The cries of war echo upon the winds. The remnants of the past scar the land. once again by conflict. arise to challenge fate and lead their brethren to battle. As mortal armies rush blindly towards their doom, the burning shadow comes to consume us all. your people to their destinies. Seek me out.
was that? It was not a nightmare, young war chief, but a vision. Follow me, and I will reveal what your future holds. I don't know what this is all about, but I'll play along. Greetings, son of Duratan. I knew you'd find your way. It was you I saw in the vision. Who are you? How do you know me? I know many things, young war chief, about you and your people. My identity at this time is unimportant. What is important? It is that you rally your people and leave these shores immediately. Leave? What's this all about, human? Human? <laughs> I left my humanity behind long ago. I am something different now. Know that I have seen the future and beheld the great burning shadow that is coming to consume this world. You sense it as well, don't you? The demons are returning. Yes, and only by leading your people across the sea to the distant lands of Kalimdor will you have a chance to stand against them. But how can we... I will answer all of your questions in time, young war chief. For now, rally your warriors and prepare to leave this land. We will speak again. None of this makes sense. But the spirits tell me that I should trust him. It's been three days and this prophet has yet to show himself. I hope I'm not making a huge mistake by trusting him. War Chief, the clans are assembling as you ordered, but it will take them some time to reach us. Then we must prepare this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and proper lodgings when they arrive. Yes, War Chief. Warrior, has there been any word from Grom Hellscream? He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. No, War Chief. We haven't heard from Hellscream in some time. Damn it, Grom. Where the hell are you? You orcs are in violation of the Alliance Internment Act. We've already captured one of your leaders. If you surrender now, we'll spare your lives. War Chief, they say they've captured one of our leaders. Maybe they're referring to Grom. I hope not. But if they have captured Hellscream, I'll make them regret it. Lok Tarogar! Come, my warriors! We must drive the humans back! Are you all right? I'm fine, little brother. Luckily, they only injured my pride. Great, because we're getting out of here now. We're leaving the human lands for good. Finally. Follow me. I have an idea. <laughs> we can set sail on the humans' own ships. <laughs> Perfect. But we'll need to wait for the rest of the Horde. The Horde is assembled, War Chief. We await only your command. Now, go, young Thrall. Sail west to the lands of Kalimdor. It is there that you will find your destiny. It is there that your people's salvation will be assured. We've received reports that the Orcs are regrouping. 
Certainly the recent attacks against the internment camps are evidence enough. Agreed. The Horde is on the move. This is absurd. My nation will not stand by and watch as the Horde amasses on our very doorstep. The Orcs are not our primary concern here. How many times must I repeat myself? King Terranus, you must heed my warning. This plague that has gripped the Northlands could have dire ramifications. Let's keep all this in perspective. Even if this plague does pose a threat to us, what are you proposing that we do? It is simple. As I have said, the Kirin Tor are already prepared to place the villages under strict quarantine. I will not institute quarantine without proof of your claims, Ambassador. The people of Lordaeron have suffered enough without becoming prisoners in their own lands. Yet, prisoners they are, good king. What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Humanity is in peril. The tides of darkness have come again, and the whole world is poised upon the brink of war. Enough of this. Guards, remove this madman. Hear me. The only hope for your people is to travel west, to the forgotten lands of Kalendor. Travel west. Are you mad? Old Ambassador, I don't know who you are or what you believe, but this is not the time for rambling prophets. Our lands are beset by conflict, but it shall be we who decide how best to protect our people, not you. Now, be gone! I failed humanity once before, and I will not do so again. If you cannot take up this cup, then I shall find another who will. The warning has been given. Their fate is now their own. Welcome, Prince Arthas. The men and I are honored by your presence. Can the formalities, Uther. I'm not king yet. It's good to see you. You too, lad. I'm pleased that King Terranus sent you to help me. Father still hopes your patience and experience might rub off on me. Well, it is a father's right to dream, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Look, here's where we stand. Our scouts have confirmed that there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. As I suspected. It gets worse. They're preparing to attack the nearby village of Stronbrad. As far as we know, the village is completely defenseless. I need to move against the orc's base immediately. Can you handle Stronbrad's defense on your own? Of course, Uther. Don't worry about me. Good. Meet me at the Orc Camp once you've saved the village. Be careful, Arthas. Bless you, Prince Arthas. But what about the others who were taken away? Don't worry, son. We'll find them and bring them home safe. Prince Arthas, Lord Uther needs you at the Orc Encampment immediately. Never a dull moment. Let's get moving.
Ah, uh, good timing, lad. I sent two of my best knights into parley with the orc leader. They should be returning shortly. Damn. These orcs will never surrender. Then let's get in there and destroy the beasts. Remember, Argus, we are paladins. Vengeance cannot be a part of what we must do. If we allow our passions to turn to bloodlust, then we will become as vile as the orcs. Yes, Uther. Now, if you're feeling up to it, I want you to lead the attack. Me? Well, of course. I'll remain here and ensure that none of the loathsome beasts threaten the camp. I won't fail you. I know you won't, lad. Paladin fool! The warlocks of the Black Rock Clan have spoken. Soon, demons will rain from the sky, and this wretched world will burn. Yes, I've heard this rhetoric before. You orcs will never learn! It was only a mirror image. Damn it, what are these curs up to? The hour of doom approaches. Let this paltry sacrifice appease our demon masters. You sick bastards. You'll never get away from- <laughs> Slay the orcs. Slay them all! You've done well, lad. This was a sound victory. I don't know, Uther. The orcs were sacrificing townsfolk. I think they were trying to summon demons. Have faith, lad. These orcs are trying to hold on to dying traditions. We defeated their demons a long time ago. Let's head for home. It's been a long day. You must be wiser than the king. The end is near! I told you before, I'm not interested in this nonsense. Then I've wasted my time here. You can show yourself now, Jaina. He's gone. I'm sorry for eavesdropping, Master, but... <laughs> it's your inquisitive nature that I've come to rely on, child. That crazed fool's convinced that the world is about to end. I've heard the rumors of the plague spreading throughout the Northlands. Do you truly believe that the plague is magical in nature? It's a strong possibility. That's why I need you to travel there and investigate the matter. I've arranged for a special envoy to assist you. Yes, Master. I'll do my best. I know you will, child. Farewell. Prince Arthas, we've been waiting here for hours. Are you sure this friend of yours is coming? I'm sure. Jaina usually runs a little late. We must help her! Stay your play, Captain. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Gentlemen, meet Miss Jaina Proudmore, special agent to the Kirin Tor, and one of the most talented sorceresses in the land. Looks like you haven't lost your touch. It's good to see you again, Jaina. You too, Arthas. It's been a while since a prince escorted me anywhere. Yes, it has. Well, I guess we should get underway. Our sources believe the plague originated in the region north of here. We should check out the villages along the King's Road. as if the land around that granary is dying. 
Could the grain itself be plagued? Let's hope not. Those crates bear the regional seal of Anderhal, the distribution center for the northern boroughs. If this grain can spread the plague, there's no telling how many villages might be affected. Greetings. We are priests from Quel'Thalas. We've come to help heal the land of this strange curse. As always, the generosity of the elves is greatly appreciated. You should know that there is a granary warehouse at the far end of this village. This evil blight may be evident there as well. We'll check it out. We've been discovered, my brothers. Flee and continue with the operation. I'm sorry I can't stay and chat, but duty calls. That creature looks like it was sewn together from different corpses. Let's study it after we kill it, okay? What was that? And who was that wizard dressed in black? I believe that the robed man was a necromancer. Obviously, he and his lackeys are behind this plague. Well, it's a good bet we'll find him, and the answers we're looking for, in Anderhall. Look! It's those cultists who are with the Necromancer. What are they doing to that mine? Let's not wait to find out. Attack! Damn these intruders! They must not interfere with the Master's plan. Let's build a base camp here. With those cultists creeping around, I'd rather not head in there without backup. I couldn't agree more. Hello again, children. I am Kel'Thuzad, and I've come to deliver a warning. Leave well enough alone. Your curiosity will be the death of you. Are you responsible for this plague, Necromancer? Is this cult your doing? Yes. I ordered the Cult of the Dam to distribute the plagued grain. But the sole credit is not mine. What do you mean? I serve the Dreadlord, Malganus. He commands the scourge that will cleanse this land and establish a paradise of eternal darkness. And what exactly is this scourge meant to cleanse? Why, the living, of course. His plan is already in motion. Seek him out at Stratholm if you need further proof. Naive fool. My death will make little difference in the long run. For now, the scourging of this land begins. Hearthglen, finally. I could use some rest. It looks like they're preparing for battle. Prince Arthas, during the night a vast army of undead warriors emerged and began attacking villages at random. Now it's heading this way. Damn it. Jaina, I'll stay here to protect the village. Go as quickly as you can and tell Lord Uther what's happened. But... Go, Jaina. Every second counts. Wait, what did those crates contain? Just a grain shipment from Anderhal. There's no need to worry, my lord. It's already been distributed amongst the villagers. Oh no. The plague was never meant to simply kill my people. It was meant to turn them into the undead. Defend yourselves! <laughs> Light, 
give me strength. O Lordera, for the king! Uther, your timing couldn't have been better. Don't celebrate yet, son. This battle's far from over. I'm surprised that you kept things together as long as you did, lad. If I hadn't arrived just Look, then... I did the best I could, Uther. If I'd had a legion of knights riding at my back, I would have... Now is not the time to be choking on pride. What we faced here was only the beginning. The undead ranks are bolstered every time one of our warriors falls in battle. Then we should strike at their leader. I'll go to Stratholme and kill Malganus myself if I have to. Easy, lad. Brave as you are, you can't hope to defeat a man who commands the dead all by yourself. Then feel free to tag along, Uther. I'm going. With or without you. Greetings, young prince. We must talk. I have no time for this. Listen to me, boy. This land is lost. The shadow has already fallen, and nothing you do will deter it. If you truly wish to save your people, lead them across the sea. To the west. Flee! My place is here, and my only course is to defend my people. Then your choice is already made. Just remember... The harder you strive to slay your enemies, the faster you'll deliver your people right into their hands. I'm sorry for concealing myself, Arthas. I just wanted to... Don't say it. I sense tremendous power about him, Arthas. Maybe he's right. Maybe he does know what will happen. Nothing he can say will make me abandon my homeland, Jaina. I don't care if that madman has seen the future. Let's go. Glad you could make it, Uther. Watch your tone with me, boy. You may be the prince, but I'm still your superior as a paladin. As if I could forget. Listen, Uther. There's something about the plague you should know. Oh no. We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. What?! This entire city must be purged. How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city. You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. Then I must consider this an act of treason. Treason? Have you lost your mind, Arthas? Have I? Lord Uther, by my right of succession and the sovereignty of my crown... I hereby relieve you of your command and suspend your paladins from service. Arthas, you can't just... It's done! Those of you who have the will to save this land, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my sight. You've just crossed a terrible threshold, Arthas. Jaina? I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you do this. I've been waiting for you, young prince. I am Malganus. As you can see, your people are now mine. I will now turn this city household by household until the flame of life has been snuffed out. 
forever. I won't allow it, Malganus. Better that these people die by my hand than serve as your slaves in death. We're going to finish this right now, Malganus. Just you and me. Brave words. Unfortunately for you, it won't end here. Your journey has just begun, young prince. Gather your forces and meet me in the Arctic land of Northrend. It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there that your true destiny will unfold. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! Arthas could have done this. Jaina! Jaina Proudmore! Lord Uther? Ah, Jaina. I thought I might find you here. Where has he gone, girl? Where has Arthas taken the fleet? He came to me before he left. I pleaded with him not to go. I told him it sounded like a trap. Where? Northrend. He's gone to Northrend to hunt Morganis. Damn that boy. I've got to inform King Terranus. Uh, don't be too hard on yourself, girl. You had nothing to do with this slaughter. The dead in this land might lie still for the time being. But don't be fooled. Your young prince will find only death in the cold north. You! Arthas is only doing what he believes is right. Commendable as that may be, his passions will be his undoing. It falls to you now, young sorceress. You must lead your people west to the ancient lands of Kalimdor. Only there can you combat the shadow and save this world from the flame. This is a light for second land, isn't it? You can barely even see the sun. This howling wind cuts to the bone, and you're not even shaking. My lord, are you all right? Captain, are all my forces accounted for? <clears throat> Nearly. There are only a few ships that- Very well. Our first priority is to set up a base camp with proper defenses. There's no telling what's waiting for us out there in the shadows. Ah. A gold mine. We'll set up our base there. We're under attack. Take cover! Bloody hell. You're not undead. You're all alive! Muradin? Muradin Bronzebeard, is that you? Damn, boy. I never imagined that you'd be the one to come to our rescue. Rescue? Muradin, I, I didn't even know you were here. Oh, well, just the same, lad. I, I could use your help. My mates and I were attacked and we got separated. I'd appreciate any backup you could give me. Of course I'll help Muradin. Let's move. All right, Muradin. What were you doing up here anyway? Well, lad... There's an ancient waygate that lies somewhere in this glacial wasteland. Supposedly, it transports you to a hidden vault where a rune blade named Frostmorn is held. We came here to recover Frostmorn, but the closer we came to finding the waygate, 
the more undead we encountered. Prince Arthas, we haven't found any trace of Malganus. No matter. He can't hide from me forever. Captain, I want you to establish this site as our primary base. Yes, my lord. I apologize, Emissary, but the Prince is away on an errand. What brings you to this desolate place? By royal edict, you men are to return to Lord Aron immediately. Lord Uther has convinced the King to recall this expedition. <laughs> We're to just pick up and leave? That's correct. My men report that the roads from here to the shore are held by the undead. You'll need to find an alternate route back to your ships. To hell with the undead. We'll cut our way through the woods, men. Captain, why are the guards not at their posts? Well, my lord, your father had our troops recalled at Lord Uther's request. Uther had my troops recalled? Damn it! If my warriors abandon me, I'll never defeat Malganus! The ships must be burned before the men reach the shore. Isn't that a bit much, lad? Burned down to their frames! No one goes home until our job here is done. Prince Arthur's? Quickly, my warriors! These murderous creatures have burned our ships and robbed you of your way home. Slay them all in the name of Lord Aron. Damn beasts! Kill them all! Our ships are ruined. What will we do now? Listen to me, all of you. There is no way home for any of us safe through victory. In this land, we will stand or fall together. Now, return to the base and man your posts. You lied to your men and betrayed the mercenaries who fought for you. What's happening to you, Arthas? Is vengeance all that's important to you? Spare me, Muradin. You weren't there to see what Malganus did to my homeland. The Dark Lord said you would come. This is where your journey ends, boy trapped and freezing at the roof of the world, with only death to sing the tale of your doom. This looks bad. We're completely surrounded. There's still one chance. Help me claim Frostmourne. If it's as powerful as you said, it might tilt the scales in our favor. I have a bad feeling about this, lad. But I promised I'd see this through. Captain, I'll leave you to organize our defense. Let's move out. are all that await you in this forsaken vault. I doubt there's anything down here more terrifying than what we've faced already. Believe what you will, boy. You shall not pass. Turn away before it's too late. Still trying to protect the sword, are you? No. 
trying to protect you from it. Oh. Behold, Muradin, our salvation. Frostmourne. Hold, lad. There's an inscription on the dais. It's a warning. It says, Whomsoever takes up this blade shall wield power eternal. Just as the blade rends flesh, so must power scar the spirit. Oh, I should have known. The blade is cursed. Let's get the hell out of here. I would gladly bear any curse to save my homeland. Oh, leave it be, Arthas. Forget this business and lead your men home. Damn the men! Nothing shall prevent me from having my revenge, old friend. Not even you. Now, I call out to the spirits of this place. I will give anything or pay any price. If only you will help me save my people. Prince Arthas, where is Muradin? We can't hold out for much longer. Muradin is dead. But take heart, Captain. The enemy will not stand long against the might of Frostmourne. So, you've taken up Frostmourne at the expense of your comrades' lives. Just as the Dark Lord said you would. You're stronger than I thought. You waste your breath, Malganus. I heed only the voice of Frostmourne now. You hear the voice of the Dark Lord. He whispers to you through the blade you wield. What does he say, young human? What does the Dark Lord of the Dead tell you now? He tells me that the time for my vengeance has come. What? He can't possibly leave It is finished.
kingdom shall fall. And from the ashes shall arise a new order that will shake the very foundations of the world. trickery is this? Malganus! I don't know how you survived, Calm but I will... yourself, Prince Arthas. I am Tychondrius. Like Malganus, I am a dreadlord. But I am not your enemy. In truth, I've come to congratulate you. Congratulate me? By killing your own father and delivering this land to the Scourge, you have passed your first test. The Lich King is pleased with your... enthusiasm. Yes. I've damned everyone and everything I've ever loved in his name. And I still feel no remorse. No shame. No pity. The rune blade that you carry was forged by the Lich King and empowered to steal souls. Yours was the first one it claimed. Then I'll make do without one. What is the Lich King's will? The Cult of the Damned must be rallied once again. Many of the Acolytes have been in hiding amongst the populace. Once you've rallied them, I will give you further instructions. Well done, Death Knight. The Cult is nearly assembled. Lordaeron lies in ashes. What good are these cultists to us now? They will aid you in your next undertaking. And what's that? You will go to Anderhal and recover the remains of the Acolyte's former master, the Necromancer, Kel'Thuzad. What the hell is that? This crude contraption will allow you to transport the remains of our master. Can you not simply raise the remains when we find them? Pardon, Lord, but a being of Kel'Thuzad's power can only be reanimated at a nexus of powerful lay energies. And there are no such places in this land. Very well then. Let's move out. Come along now, Necromancer. The powers that you once served have need of you again. Told you, my death would mean little. What the? Am I hearing ghosts now? It is I, Kel'Thuzad. I was right about you, Prince Arthas. It took you long enough. These remains are badly decomposed. They will never survive the trip to Quel'Thalas. Quel'Thalas? Yes. Only the energies of the High Elves' Sunwell can bring Kel'Thuzad back to life. Then what must be done? You must steal a very special urn from the Paladin's keeping. Place the Necromancer's remains within it, and he will be well protected for the journey. As you wish. Your father ruled this land for 70 years, and you've drowned into dust in a matter of days. Very dramatic, Uther. Give me the urn, and I'll make sure you die quickly. The urn holds your father's ashes, Arthas. What, were you hoping to piss on them one last time before you left his kingdom to rot? <laughs> I didn't know what it held, nor does it matter. I'll take what I came for one way or another. I dearly hope that there's a no special one place in hell around. waiting for you, Arthas. We may never know, Uther. I intend to live forever. Excellent work. 
Now your journey to Quell Thalas can begin. Tell him nothing. Only you can hear me. The Dreadlords cannot be trusted. They are the Lich King's jailers. I will tell you all when I walk this world again. Is everything proceeding as planned, Tychondrius? Lord Archimon demands a report on the Scourge. Lich King's young Death Knight has been performing well. Almost too well. I begin to wonder if Nazul has ulterior motives for his new champion. The human means nothing in the long run. Nerzo wouldn't dare undermine our efforts now. Our only concern is that the Scourge accomplishes what it was created to do. Our command will have all our heads if we do not keep control of this situation. Believe me, brother. Neither the Lich King nor his undead lackeys will jeopardize the Legion's return. See that they do not. Lord Archimon has little patience for failure. Ah, the wondrous, eternal Quel'Thalas. I haven't been here since I was a boy. Be wary. The elves likely wait in ambush. The frail elves do not concern me, Necromancer. Our forces are strengthened with every foe we slay. Don't be too overconfident, Death Knight. The elves must not be taken lightly. We shall see. Bring forth the prisoner. Where is the entrance to your land, elf? You will never enter Quel'Thalas, Fallen Prince. The woods themselves protect our borders, and the enchanted elf gates protect our capital. Your precious gates will not stop me any more than these trees, little elf. Bring up the meat wagons. We'll make our own entrance. The of this place are strong. Kill the elves. Level their structures. This location is perfect for your base. It'll be a pleasure. The undead are advancing. Alert the sentries. This you are not welcome here. I am Sylvanas Windrunner, Ranger General of Silver Moon. I advise you to turn back now. It is you who should turn back, Sylvanas. Death itself has come to your land. Do your worst. The Elf Gate to the Inner Kingdom is protected by our most powerful enchantments. You shall not pass. <sighs> Shindufan. Fall back to the second gate. Fall back! The Elf Gate has fallen. Onward, my warriors. Onward to victory! To the trees! <sighs> You've won through this gate, Butcher, but you won't get through the second. The inner gate to Silvermoon can only be opened with a special key, and it shall never be yours. You waste your time, woman. You cannot outrun the inevitable. You think that I'm running from you? Apparently, you've never fought elves before. <laughs> 
Damn that woman! We must find a way to cross the river. Finally. The gates have been opened. Once we've dealt with Sylvanas, the inner kingdom shall be ours. Damn you monsters! What will it take to drive you back? The ranger woman is starting to vex me greatly. You've done well, so far, but the true task still lies before you. I was wondering when you'd show up. I am here to ensure that you do your job, little human, not do it for you. I will reach the Sunwell on my own, Dreadlord. Be warned, it is a pool of mystical energy from which the elves draw their immortal powers. They will not give it up easily. Do you think he suspects that you've been aiding me, Necromancer? I'm sure he suspects quite a bit. It is his nature to assume the worst. Now steel yourself. The hour of my rebirth draws near. Oh, no. Did you forget about us, you wretches? Basha no falotala. She is persistent. Reminds me of you, Death Knight. Shut up, you damn ghost. I salute your bravery, Elf. But the chase is over. Then I'll make my stand here, Butcher. Anara la Bellore. <coughs> Finish it. I deserve a clean death. After all you've put me through, woman, the last thing I'll give you is the peace of death. No, you wouldn't dare. Citizens of Silvermoon, I have given you ample opportunities to surrender, but you have stubbornly refused. Know that today, your entire race and your ancient heritage will end. Death itself has come to claim the high home of the Elves. Now arise, Kel'Thuzad, and serve the Lich King once again. I am reborn as promised. The Lich King has granted me eternal life. I've upheld my end of the bargain, Lich. Are you ready to tell me about the Dreadlords now? Certainly, but not here. They have eyes and ears everywhere. We'll talk where it's safe. So, you're not upset about me killing you that one time? Don't be foolish. The Lich King told me how our encounter would end. The Lich King knew that I would kill you? Of course. He chose you to be his champion long before the Scourge even began. If he's so all-knowing, then how can the Dreadlords control him like they do? They are agents of the ones who created our master. The fiery lords of the Burning Legion. What is this Legion? It is a vast, demonic army that has consumed countless worlds beyond our own. Now it comes to set this world to the flame. Our master was created to pave the way for its arrival. The Dreadlords were sent to make sure that he succeeded. So the plague in Lordaeron, the citadels in Northrend, the slaughtering of the elves, it was all just to prepare for some huge demonic invasion? Yes. In time, you will find that our entire history has been shaped by the coming conflict. Now come, we have much work to do.
Isn't it time you told me about the second phase of the plan, Lich? Certainly. The first phase of the Lich King's plan was to engineer the Scourge, which would eradicate any group that might resist the Legion's arrival. Like the forces of Lordaeron, and the High Elves. Exactly. The second phase is to actually summon the Demon Lord, who will spark the invasion. So where are we going now? There is a nearby encampment of Blackrock Orcs who maintain a functional Demon Gate. I must use the gate to commune with the Demon Lord and receive his instructions. I call upon thee, Archimond. Your humble servant seeks an audience. You called my name, Puny Lich, and I have come. You are Kel'Thuzad, are you not? Yes, Great One. I am the Summoner. Very well, then. There is a special tome you must find. The only remaining spellbook of Medivh, the last guardian. Only his lost incantations are powerful enough to bring me into your world. Where should we search for it, Great One? Seek out the mortal city of Dalaran. It is there that the tome is kept. At twilight, three days from now, you will begin the summoning. Wizards of the Kirin Tor, I am Arthas, first of the Lich King's Death Knights. I demand that you open your gates and surrender to the might of the Scourge. Greetings, Prince Arthas. How fares your noble father? Lord Antonidas, there's no need to be snide. We've prepared for your coming, Arthas. My brethren and I have erected auras that will destroy any undead that pass through them. Your petty magics will not stop me, Antonidas. Pull your troops back, or we will be forced to unleash our full powers against you. Make your choice, Death Knight. I sense that three separate wizards are maintaining these auras. If you find and kill them, the auras will disperse. It pains me to even look at you, Arthas. I'll be happy to end your torment, old man. I told you that your magics could not stop me. The spellbook is all yours, Lich. Let's take it and leave before the wizards amass for their final attack. Indeed. I will begin summoning Lord Archimond at sunset. The Circle of Power has been prepared for your instructions, Lich. Are you ready to begin the summoning? Nearly. I've been reading through Medivh's spellbook. His knowledge of demons alone is staggering. I suspect that he was far more powerful than anyone ever realized. Not powerful enough to escape death, that is for certain. Suffice to say, the work he began, we finish today. 
Let the summoning commence. Come forth, Lord Archimonde. Enter this world and let us bask in your power. has come to this world. You have done well, little lich. My plan worked perfectly. Lord Archimond, all the preparations have been made. Very well, Tychondrius. Since the Lich King is of no further use to me, you dreadlords will now command the Scourge. As you wish, Lord Archimond. Soon, I will order the invasion to begin. But first, I will make an example of these paltry wizards by crushing their city into the ashes of history. This has got to be a joke. What happens to us now? Be patient, young Death Knight. The Lich King foresaw this as well. You may yet have a part to play in his grand design. Ajir Uthar Lutharos. War Chief, our ship sustained heavy damage when we passed through the raging maelstrom. It's unsalvageable. I knew it. Can we confirm our location? Is this Kalimdor? We traveled due west as you instructed. This should be it. Very well. 
Has there been any sign of Grom Hillscream or the other ships? No, Warchief. Not since we got separated. Hmm. Prepare to move out. If our comrades did make it here, we should be able to find them along the coast. Arr! I am Kerr, chief of the Bloodwolf Torren. You greenskins fight with both savagery and valor. I am intrigued. I am Thrall, and these are my brethren, the Orcs. We've come seeking the destiny promised to us. <laughs> seeking destiny? It will find you in time, young one. However, there is an oracle far to the north which might be able to... North? But there's an army of the horsemen marching north. What? No. My village is in danger. Rest. Your tribe is safe, old one. Thanks to you, young war chief. But the centaur drove off all the game in this region, and I cannot allow my people to starve. Soon we must head north, to the verdant grasslands of Mulgore. And you fear the marauders will overtake you? Yes. The devil's speed cannot be matched upon the plains. Well, if you tell us how to reach the oracle you spoke of, then my brethren and I will escort you on your march. I am intrigued by you and your people, young Thrall. You are more than welcome to join us. This land is rugged and beautiful, much like the place from which my people originally come. Yes. We Torren have always held a great respect for the works of the Earth Mother. There are far worse fates than living freely upon the open plains, young Warchief. Hmm, perhaps. But my people deserve a land to call their own, Cairn. Warchief! We've spotted a herd of marauders bearing down on us! Cairn, the Kodos are overburdened and must rest. Why don't you remain here and protect the caravan while we search for a suitable oasis? Ah, there's no need to coddle me, boy. I may be old, but I'm not helpless. Cairn, the caravan will never make it in time! Let the fury of the Earth Mother deal with these wretches as they deserve. They will trouble us no more. And you, young war chief, are free to continue your quest. To the Oracle? What is it? Legends say that it saw the strands of fate as they were woven by the Earth Mother. It alone can show you your destiny. Where will I find it? Far to the north, near the shadowy base of Mount Hyjal, lies Stone Talon Peak. You will find the Oracle within the peak's hollow. I will send my finest Kodos to aid you in your journey. Thank you, Cairn. I will not forget you. Go with honor, young war chief. May the Earth Mother smile upon you. Mighty Manoroth. How goes the invasion? Bah! These frail humans offer no real resistance. Then the Scourge did its job well. Unlike some others I could name. Do not mock me, Dreadlord. I am aware of the Orc's failure. 
when I find them. I will discipline them myself. Yes, actually, that's why I've come. I thought you might like to know that the orcs are no longer here. What? Are you certain? Certain as ever, Manoroth. My agents, at least, are always dependable. They tell me that the orcs have landed on Kalimdor. Kalimdor? But what could they be? Bah! The orcs are mine by right, and I will claim them wherever they choose to run. And you are mine, Manoroth. You would do well to remember that fact. We will watch the wayward orcs and wait. Despite their failure, they may still prove useful to us. Warchief, we've been trudging through this wasteland for a week with nothing to fight but centaurs and pigmen. We need real enemies to test our metal. Yes, boredom and the beating sun have put us all on edge. But we must push on. All will be made clear once we meet the Oracle. As you say, Warchief. Look, it's the Warsaw Clan. They're battling humans. What? Loktar warriors! Hellstream needs help! Wretched orcs. How dare you follow us to this land? Save your breath, human. You needed to scream when I start tearing off your limbs. With these, we can reach Stone Talon Peak by morning. Hmm. A true warrior would simply take the pass from the humans. Have you lost what's left of your mind, Grom? I gave you a direct order to leave the humans alone. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't lecture me, pup. The wretches deserved death. <sighs> Don't you feel it, Thrall? It's like the old days. Like the demons are near. I don't know what's come over you and your men, but this bloodlust is a liability that I can't afford. Mm. I'm sorry, Thrall. You're right. I... I can handle it. I can't take that chance, Grom. Take your clan into the northern forest and build us a settlement. I'll come and find you after we've reached the Oracle. Damn Thrall for sending us away. He chooses to use his greatest warriors for manual labor? He'll be lost without me. Chieftain, there's something strange about these woods. It's too quiet. Almost like we're being watched. Are you all afraid of spirits now? <laughs> there is nothing here but ancient trees and shadow. Anaduna Farore. He said Aduna Bantu. Asterod Nefanas. <laughs> you hear that? This place is haunted. I fear no living enemy, but my axe cannot cleave fleshless spirits. Still your tongue and get to work. The war chief's new settlement will require a great deal of lumber. This section of forest must be cleared. Oh. <laughs> 
Fall. this cursed place. This is the veil of our ancient enemy, the Night Elves demigod, Cenarius. Yes. Lord Archimon demands that Cenarius be destroyed before we launch the invasion of Kalimdor. Hmm, I would relish the chance to face him again in combat. But he is crafty and rarely appears in the open. Fateful as it sounds, your pet orcs have recently despoiled these forest lands and incurred his wrath. Lord Archimonde and I believe that the orcs are capable of killing Cenarius for us. Hmm, they would have little chance against Cenarius. If memory serves, his powers were quite formidable. Yes, but so are yours. The blood pact that you made with the orcs long ago still binds them to you. You need only recharge their energies. Hmm. Just what are you suggesting, Dreadlord? Spill your burning blood into this pool. Its corruption will lure the orcs to it. And once they've tasted your blood again, they will be unstoppable. Who dares defile this ancient land? Who dares the wrath of Cenarius and the Night Elves? The forest is coming alive! We're under attack! Let battle be joined! Cleanse these brutes from the wilds. I will watch over you from the forest. The pool emanates great power, but I smell the stench of a demon curse about it. I am cursed already. If I must drink from these waters to defeat Cenarius, then I will. No. That goes against everything the War Chief teaches us. We can't let rage overcome us again. No, warrior. We must embrace it as never before. We must become the vessels of destruction that we were meant to be. Yes! I feel the power once again. Come, my warriors. Drink from the dark waters, and you will be reborn! Mm -hmm. Hello again, Gromash. Manoroth, it can't be. I've come. 
come to bring you and your brethren back into the fold. Though you orcs failed the Burning Legion before, you will now serve us once again. No. We are free. <laughs> Stupid, pitiful creature. I am the rage in your heart. I am the fury of your thoughts. I alone empowered you to bring chaos to this world. And by the endless void you shall... War Chief, we scouted the peak as you ordered. The humans have entrenched their fortifications all the way up to the summit. What are they up to? They're looking to pick a fight. They've had ample opportunities before this. Ishnealo Pora, young War Chief. Cairn, what are you doing here? Our debt to you orcs can only be repaid with blood. We've come to help you reach the Oracle. However, those metal-clad pinkskins look like trouble. Those pinkskins are called humans. They are our enemies from across the sea. They seem intent on keeping us from the peak. Hmm. The Oracle's wisdom belongs to all. Perhaps the wyverns that live nearby can be of use to us. They have no love for hostile intruders. The harpies have enslaved the wyverns. Be warned, old fool. Stone Talon Peak is ours. Neither these brutes nor the humans will leave this place alive. Attack my sisters! These proud beasts will now aid us in reaching the summit. Hold, War Chief. Hmm, that's the young sorceress Grom told me about. It appears that she seeks the Oracle as well. Be wary, young one. That cave is the perfect spot for an ambush. Hmm, <laughs> don't worry, Cairn. I was raised by the humans. I know their tricks and stratagems. There's no way that I'll let them stop me from reaching the Oracle. The path cuts off in different directions. Hmm, either of those caverns could stretch for miles. Perhaps we should split up. Very well. Be careful, young one. There's no telling what ancient creatures lie within the mountain's depths. I will, Cairn. Good luck. Orcs. I knew that we were being followed. Defend yourselves! Stop! There will be no violence in this place. That voice. You're no... Oracle, you're the prophet. Very perceptive, son of Durotan. I am the prophet. And now that I've lured you all here, I will tell you what destiny holds. What the hell is going on here? Thrall, this is Jaina Proudmoore, leader of the survivors of Lordaeron. Survivors? What are you talking about? The invasion of the Burning Legion has begun. 
Lordaeron has already fallen, and now the demons come to invade Kalimdor. Only together, united against the Shadow, will you be able to save this world from the flame. Unite with them? Are you mad? Have you heard nothing that I've said? The Legion comes to undo history and end all life. Thrall, your friend Hellscream has already fallen under the demon's influence. Soon he and your whole race will be lost forever. No. I'll die before I let that happen. Then you must rescue him immediately. He is the key to the destiny I promised you. However, you will need help. Wait, this is insane. You can't possibly expect me to- Destiny is at hand, young sorceress. The time to choose has come. For the fate of all who live, humanity must join forces with the Horde. If the Prophet was correct, then the Warsong encampment lies just over the ridge. We should ready ourselves for battle. I know, Cairn. It's just that I never thought I'd live to see the day when I had to fight my own people. Just remember, Thrall. With this soul gem, you can capture your friend Hellscream's spirit without hurting him. But you need to bring it back to my base immediately so we can free Grom from the demon's control. I appreciate your help, Miss Proudmoore. Yet another day I thought I'd never live to see. That makes two of us. I'll return to my base and aid you as best I can. Good luck, uh, gentlemen. The spirits rage around you, young warchief. They sense your anguish. Your grief. Hellscream is like a brother to me, Cairn. But he and his clan have fallen under the demon's influence. If I can't save him, then my people might be damned for all time. Grom, you've got to come with me! And where would you lead me, boy? Destiny is at hand. Lord Manoroth is our master now. Who? You're not talking sense! Ah, Thrall. You always believed that the demons corrupted our race, but that's only half true. We gave ourselves up willingly on Dranor. The other chieftains and I, we drank Manoroth's blood, Thrall. We brought this curse upon ourselves. You did this to our people Knowingly? Thrall, the skies are burning. This is no natural storm. Blessed ancestors. Everyone, brace yourselves! Fight on, my warriors! We must reach Hellscream before it's too late! Apologies. Right now, I need you to help me save our people. Manoroth. We must face Manoroth in the canyon. Then let's go. I don't want to keep the bastard waiting. I knew you would come. 
And I see you brought the mighty hell scream. <laughs> His blood is mine. As is your whole misbegotten race. Blood haze has lifted. The demon's fire has burnt out in my veins. <laughs> I have freed myself. No, old friend. You freed us all. Pardon, Priestess, but you've been staring out across Ashenvale for hours. I sent something dark stirring within the forest, Chandris. It feels as if it's heading this way. The Greenskins who killed Cenarius? Perhaps. Perhaps something more. Put your backs into it! Jaina and the Orc War Chief expect this base to be built swiftly. Ah, we shouldn't even be here! Or siding with the Orcs. 
We're here to hunt the remaining demons, human. You're lucky our goals are the same. All right, you men. Mind your business. Back to work. So, these orcs and humans presume to run rampant through our lands? They will regret ever stepping foot into Ashenvale. We will establish a base and deal with these outlanders as they deserve. Yourselves. They must have followed us from Lordaeron. They'll not save us. The dead advance in waves. Quickly, my sisters, back to the trees. We are no match for a force this fast. dead are tireless. There's no way to outrun them. You see, Lord Archimond, we need not fear the Night Elves. The Scourge can... Archimond, after 10,000 years, how is it possible? <laughs> the Legion has returned to consume this world, woman, and this time... Your troublesome race will not stop us. Fools! Let her slip away! Find her, damn you! Find her and kill her! The day we have long feared has finally come. The Burning Legion has returned. I must cross the river and warn the rest of my sisters before all is lost. Taranda, praise Elune you've made it. The undead appeared out of nowhere and attacked our village without warning. Ishnudaldiem Chandris, we have a greater problem. The undead were sent here by the Burning Legion, our ancient enemies of old. Against such might we have only one option. We must awaken the Druids. With Sonarius dead, it falls to us to awaken the Druids. We must recover the demigod's horn from the sacred Moonglade Isle. Only its clarion call can awaken the druids from their slumber. But Priestess, the orcs have established a crude settlement upon the isle. We'll need to fight our way through them to reach Cenarius's horn. Priestess Taronda, thank Elune we found you. The undead are advancing upon the nearby Barrow Dens. The dens seem abandoned, but there is one druid sleeping within them, sister. Furion Stormrage. He is the wisest and most powerful of all the druids. He must be warned that the Legion has returned. Then we'd better hurry. If the undead overtake his den before he's awakened... Let us make haste, my sisters. All our hopes rest on Furion's awakening. At last, the Horn of Cenarius. Now we can awaken Furion. The horn has sounded, and I have come, as promised. I smell the stench of decay and corruption in our land. That angers me greatly. Come forth, you defenders of old. Crush these enemies as you did in ages past. Thank <laughs> you. 
It has been a thousand years since I last looked upon you, Tyrande. I thought of you every moment I roamed through the Emerald Dream. My heart rejoices to see you again, Furion. But I would not have awakened you unless the need was urgent. In the dream, I felt our land being corrupted, just as if it were my own body. You were right to awaken me. The Burning Legion has returned, Furion. Cenarius is dead, and Outlanders roam freely through our most sacred veils. As was foretold. No doubt Archimonde will make his way to Hyjal Summit and attack the World Tree. If he succeeds in draining the Tree's energies, this world will be doomed. My only thought was to awaken you and the rest of the Druids. The Druids of the Talon reside within the Barrow Dens at the end of this valley. If we can reach them, we may have a chance to stop Archimonde and his demons. <laughs> That did it, boys! We've driven them off! Let's regroup back at the base and tend to our wounded. So, the Outlanders battle against the undead as well. They could prove to be powerful allies against Archimonde and his ilk. They are mongrels and nothing more. They are responsible for Cenarius's death. I will be damned before I stand with them. Perhaps you are right, my love. We will establish our new settlement here. Keep your sentries alert. I doubt that we have seen the last of the Outlanders or the undead. Wait. I know those Furbolgs. They escaped from Ashenvale when the corruption started to spread. Perhaps. They did not escape the corruption after all. No. The outpost has been corrupted. And the Treans have been driven mad. They do not deserve this cruel fate. Come no further, weakling. Lord Tychondrius commanded us to kill anyone attempting to enter this place. And we shall. Pathetic wretches. It pains me that you once called yourselves Night Elves. Come forth, Druids of the Talon. Let the storm crows fly once again upon the winds of war. Ishnu Allah, my brethren. Kalimdor has need of your powers once again, for the hour of doom is at hand. We are yours to command, Shundo Stormrage. Now we must delve into the earth, and rouse the ferocious druids of the Claw from their slumber. These barrow deeps have remained untouched for nearly 3,000 years. Still, there is no telling what creatures may have taken up residence after we sealed these tunnels shut. There is nothing to fear in this place. The only enemy that has ever given me pause is now corrupting the lands above us. Let us be done with this business and get back to the surface. Agreed. Just be careful. There is no telling how the Druids of the Claw will react to us after all this time. Old Priestess, we need your help. Our shaman was bitten by a strange spider and has become deathly ill. Our tribesmen have run off, leaving us to fend for ourselves. What would you have us do? The waters of the nearby Fountain of Life can save him, but we dare not leave him in this state. If you can fill this vial with its waters and return it to us, our shaman's life will be saved. If his wisdom will prevent you from turning feral like your tribesmen, I will gladly save your shaman. Elune be praised, Priestess. Truthfully, we doubted that you'd return. Now our shaman has a chance. 
Again, I must thank you for your help. Take this talisman. Should you require our aid, it will summon us to fight at your side. The pathway cuts off to the south. But this doorway looks promising. Oh no. How could I have forgotten? What is behind this door that worries you, my love? This door leads to Illidan's prison, Tyrande. We should go. Now. Illidan? It's been 10,000 years. Could he still be alive? We should free him, Furion. He would be the perfect ally against the undead and their demon masters. No, Tyrande. That beast must never be set free. But he is your brother. Be that as it may. He is far too dangerous. I forbid it. Only the goddess may forbid me anything. I will free Illidan whether you like it or not. Ah, the druids of the Claw are awake already. Come, my brothers. We have much to do. What? They've lost themselves to their animal aspects. They're mindless and feral. In the raven's name. The horn's call might work, but it would reach only a few of them in this part of the cavern. I don't know what came over us. It's been so long since we remembered who we were. All is well, Theroshan. I have need of you and your mighty brethren once again. After these many ages, the Burning Legion has returned, and only our combined strength can drive them back. Then we Druids of the Claw are yours to command, Shandor Stormridge. I cannot go back. Goddess Grant that Furion was wrong. Your quest is foolhardy. Even your goddess has condemned the one you seek to free. Hold, priestess. This place is forbidden, even to one such as you. There is a terrible evil here that must remain chained beneath the earth. Illidan was considered a great hero once. I believe he will become one again. Madness! You would doom us all by freeing the betrayer! Illidan, is that you? Tyrande, it is your voice. After all these ages spent in darkness, your voice is like the pure light of the moon upon my mind. The Legion has returned, Illidan. Your people have need of you once more. Because I once cared for you, Tyrande, I will hunt down the demons. But I will never owe our people anything. Then let us hurry back to the surface. The demons' corruption spreads with every second we waste. Furion! It has been an eternity, brother. An eternity spent in darkness. Illidan. You were sentenced to pay for your sins. Nothing more. And who are you to judge me? We fought the demons side by side, if you recall. Enough of this, both of you. What is done is done. My love, with Illidan's help, we will drive the demons back once again and save what is left of our beloved land. Have you even considered the cost, Tyrande? This betrayer's aid may doom us all before the end. I will have nothing to do with this. Free after ten thousand years. Yet still my own brother thinks I am a villain. I'll show him my true power. I'll show him that the demons have no hold over me. Are you certain of that, Demon Hunter? Are you certain your will is your own? You reek of death, human. 
you regret approaching me. Come then, you'll find that we're evenly matched. We could go on fighting like this forever. What is it you truly want? The Dreadlord who commands this undead army is called Tychondrius. He controls a powerful warlock artifact called the Skull of Gul'dan. It is responsible for corrupting these forests. And you wish for me to steal it? Why? Let's just say that I have no love for Tychondrius. And the lord I serve would benefit from the Legion's downfall. Why should I believe anything you say, little human? My master sees all, Demon Hunter. He knows that you've sought power your whole life. Now it lies within your grasp. Seize it, and your enemies will be undone. Now at least the demons will no longer corrupt the forests. But if I destroy the skull and claim its powers as my own, I will become stronger than any of Archimon's lieutenants. Yes, the power should be mine. Foul demon! What have you done with my brother? It is I, Purim. This is what I've become. No. Illidan, how could you? The leader of the undead has been destroyed, and the forests will heal in time. At the cost of your soul? You are no brother of mine. Be gone from this place, and never set foot in our lands again. So be it, brother. We have no time for this, Furion. What are we doing out here? Last night in a dream, a great raven spoke to me and summoned me to this place. We were summoned here as well. Who are you, Outlanders? I am Thrall, son of Durotan, war chief of the Horde. And I am Jaina Proudmoore, leader of the human survivors of Lordaeron. You are not welcome here. Peace, Priestess. They've come to aid you against the Legion. It was you in my dream. But who are you to make such an offer to us? I am the reason for the Legion's return. Years ago, I brought the orcs into this world. By doing so, I opened a path for the demons as well. For my sins, I was murdered by those who I cared for most. Despite my death, war raged across the lands of the East for many long years, leaving entire kingdoms devastated in its wake. Now, at long last, I have returned to set things right. I am the Deev, the last guardian. I tell you now, the only chance for this world is for you to unite in arms against the enemies of all who live.
I'm sorry I'm late. It, it's just as we feared. Archimond and his Doom Guard are making their way towards the summit. He'll be here any moment. Ten thousand years ago, we Night Elves defeated the Burning Legion. Though the rest of the world was shattered, we were left free to live out our immortal lives in peace, bound to the World Tree. We are its protectors, and through it we were granted immortality and power over nature. Now, at last, it is time we gave that power back. You realize that we will age as these mortals do. Our powers over nature will wane in time. If pride gives us pause, my love, then perhaps we have lived long enough already. I will proceed to the summit and prepare our defenses there. Whatever comes, my love, remember, our bond is eternal. Hear me, Night Elves. The time for reckoning has come. If you can provide our bases with support and keep us from being overwhelmed, Thrall and I will delay Archimonde's ascent. Your plan is a bold one, girl. Perhaps I have misjudged you, Outlanders. May a loon shine upon you. To arms, my brethren. To arms, brave orcs and humans. Twilight falls, and the enemy awaits. You are very brave to stand against me, little human. If only your countrymen had been as bold, I would have had more fun scouring your wretched nations from the world. Is talking all you demons do? Show yourself! Or do you intend to have mortal girls do all your fighting for you? Orcs are weak and hardly worth the effort. I wonder why Manoroth even bothered with you. Our spirit is stronger than you know, demon. If we are to fall, then so be it. At least now, we are free. You have actually hurt me. <laughs> are there none left to stand against the Legion? This is almost too easy. If I had known that this mortal resistance would be so weak, I would have launched this invasion centuries ago. Come, you night elves! Where is the fire and the passion with which you fought so long ago? I wish the boss of the The goddess calls. I beat the voice of the leader. Someone turns a while. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. I beat the voice of the leader. Yes, I hold my senses. Archimonde's victory here has made him overconfident. He will not see the trap that I laid for him until it is too late. The way to the World Tree is clear. Witness the end, you mortals. The final hour has come. The Outlanders held him back as long as they could. Were you successful in planning the summit's defense? Yes. Now our victory is assured.
The roots will heal in time, as will the entire world. The sacrifices have been made. Just as the orcs, humans, and night elves discarded their old hatreds and stood united against a common foe, so did nature herself rise up to banish the shadow forever. As for me, I came back to ensure that there would be a future, to teach the world that it no longer needed guardians. The hope for future generations has always resided in mortal hands. And now that my task is done, I will take my place amongst the legends of the past. wants you. Let me at him! Let me at him! Let me at him! That's it. I'm dead. No! Ambush! Run for your life! Horses are under attack! the clearing ahead!
that way. No, that way. <laughs> and this one time at Bandit Camp? Now, the rain has gone. 